Science today tells us that there are internal and external waves in the oceans. Internal waves are gravity waves that oscillate within a fluid medium, rather than on its surface, which are called the external waves. Science has recently discovered this in the 20th century, but this natural phenomena was mentioned 1400 years ago in the Quran. أو كظلمات في بحر اللج يغشاه موج من فوقه موج من فوقه سحاب. This verse mentions that the deep waters of seas and oceans are covered by waves, and above these waves are other waves. It is clear that the second set of waves are the surface waves that we see, because the verse mentions that above the second waves there are clouds. The internal waves cover the deep waters of seas and oceans because the deep waters have a higher density than the waters above them. How could a man living 1400 years ago in desert know this? And why would he mention this? Where did this knowledge come from? Was he a scientist? Did he just guess? How could an illiterate man who was a shepherd come up with a book in a society where 95% of the people were illiterate? Historians to this day can't explain how desert dwellers defeated the biggest empires of that time like the Romans and the Persians. How come this man is still followed to this day by millions? How come the book he brought is memorized by millions by heart? أم يقولون افتروه قل فأتوا بعشر سور مثله مفتريات ودعوا من استطعتم من دون الله إن كنتم صادقين